So hi guys, welcome to another blustery, windy Saturday. So I'm back down Boscombe Pier again after being here last week and it wasn't the plan to be honest. It's supposed to be down there on the beach. But the swell down there, unfishable. So we're going to try and put up with it on a pier for two or three hours and then hopefully um, the wind is going to follow the forecast and die down and then I'm probably going to move on to the beach. But I was here today to try and target turbo and place to start with and then array in the evening but with these conditions who knows we're just gonna have to see what we can get really but i think shane's down here fishing dorset live and a couple of his mates so let's go and say hello and try and get a rod out This is um, going to be a tricky one today. The winds are absolutely howling through here, but I'm um, going to give it a go. We're here now, so we might as well try. I'm just going to start with a three hook flapper with strips of squid. Um, I'm not sure about turbo, I've never caught one, so I'm not sure if you're going to catch them in these kind of conditions, but we're here, might as well give it a go. So, yeah, strips of mackerel and a three hook flapper. I probably won't show you, but it's pretty self explanatory. And then I'm just going to put it out. The leads aren't going to hold, are they? And then the second rod is probably going to be either a flatty rig or another free hook flapper and we just put, a, put some ragworm on that really. But yeah, give it a go. It's going to be a tough one today. We just put a third rod out as well and it's more just to save the space really because the people here they set up right right close to you so i've spaced out and put a third rod out and we put a ray bait out and it's a bit early really but you know you never know um, but let's pull these baits in and have a look see what we've got in here. so right guys why are we not catching i just talk you through my gear i'm using today so you've got a pair of tronics pro bands ibz6 rods Not really pier rods, but as I said, I wasn't supposed to fish a pier today. And then for reals, I've got a pair of Shimano Ultegra XSC 14,000s. And they've got 18 pound mono on there with tape shot leaders. Oh, it's Marcus in with a fish. What you got, Marcus? Little uh, place, yeah. Nice one, mate. First fish out of everyone, isn't it? Yep. Good stuff, mate. Right, quickly taking over Sean's GoPro for a minute. Marcus has got a beautiful little bass there. Absolutely perfect conditions. There we go. Well done, Marcus. Go back in. So right, guys, that's three rods out now. They're still all out, just facing forward. But I'm just chasing. I'm changing the baits each time now. Really, I've got a whole selection of. Um, I've got sand eel and squid cocktail on one. Uh, ragworm on another, and strips of mackerel on another. So. Yeah, I think out of the group there's been a whiting, a place and a bass. And then somebody just to the right of us has just pulled in a small ray. So obviously the fish are around tonight. But again, I don't catch fish in the daytime, so I don't know what's going on there. But I'm just going to set up all the night gear, get all the lights going, and then hopefully we'll catch something in the night. Wow guys, look at that. That's what we're here for. A little baby turbot. Super chuffed with that. It's my first one I've ever caught. So um, yeah, surprisingly on ragworm, which I didn't think they took, but this one did. So yeah, wicked. Let's get them in guys. It took me a little while to unhook, so lovely fish. <laughs> cool. Shit. 
should be a fish on here, Shane. You got one else now? Yeah. Oh. What, on the big bait? I can't remember. No, I don't think I've got a big bait out. The big bait's sat down here. Cool. There we go, guys. Doggy and a little pout. The fish are coming in thick and fast now, so I've got three rods out. I'm going to regret that probably. But um, yeah, just getting back in and see what else we've got. Nice one. Here you go. Here you go, guys. We've caught Shane's just pulled in here, look. Stonk of a red mullet. Hey, that is huge. That's a keeper, isn't it? Yeah, that's a keeper. That's well over. Well keeper. done, Shane. Are you keeping it? Oh, we've got a fish on it. Oh, we've got a place shot. I think so. Yeah. Hey. Nice. There you go, guys. Another little species for the night. Lovely little place. Didn't even know he's on the end of the line. Obviously, you can hear the wind's picked right up now. It's getting quite nasty, but it's good that we're still catching fish. But yeah, I'll get him back in and bait up and see how the weather goes. But... Here goes Shane with a triple shot. Look. Got Shane. Two power in a place. Here we go. Absolutely beautiful condition in this place, guys. Lovely, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful Absolutely fish. beautiful. And obviously... Oh, it's just turned itself off, mate. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, no, it's okay. good. It's no, no, it's good. Good. Still oh, and one pound has dropped off. Yeah, two pound, guys. <laughs> well done, Shane. Cheers, Always love a trickle shot. There you go guys, it's been a little while, it's been a couple of months, but lovely small eye ray there. Bit tricky landing on the pier, but lucky we had a drop net between us and uh, just about got it up there. But yeah, what lovely fish. It's been a little while since I caught one, but well worth the wait. <laughs> nice one. Let's get him back in. So there you guys, I never showed you the rig, but this is actually on my homemade ray rig. So it's a running ledger and you see the remnants on my bait. But it's just a 2 hook, the 2 o circle hook at the top of the panel, and that was on a sand eel and squid wrap. It's a nice one. So if you go back to my videos down Christchurch way, I'll show you exactly how I wrap them. Um, but yeah, I think we've got about another, what have we got Shane, half hour? About, uh, about less, about 15 minutes I suppose. It's, yeah, got an hour. So we've got about an hour to got to be off the pier, so I'm going to just probably stick another one of these out quickly and then bait up again and that'll be it probably for tonight but i might set up on the beach afterwards depends if the wind dies down and the rain dies down but who knows but yeah lovely Okay guys, we're close to packing up now, but we just pulled in this doggy. Um, I'm going to stick another couple of free flappers out just to use up the ragworm I've got, but it's getting quite close to having to pack up now, so they won't be out for long. But it's getting back in and we're getting them baited back up before the security guard comes, basically. <laughs> Here you go guys, this Shane just pulled in a bream, another, an, yet another species. Literally lost count of species yeah, tonight. It's a little black bream. Yeah. Look at that. There you go guys. First one I've seen this year, Shane. Ow! <laughs> bit feisty, I keep forgetting. Yeah, they are feisty, mate. <laughs> well done, Shane. But there we go, guys. Another species. If it ain't so salt, nice little bream there. Spot on. <laughs> nice one, Shane. Cheers, buddy.
Guys, another dogfish. Quite a lot of fighting them over here this side. I um, thought it was something a bit more exciting, but never mind, still a fish. <laughs> it's getting back. Right guys, that's us packed up again, kicked off the pier. But um, yeah, what a horrible night to be fair. I was gonna go and set up on the beach after tonight, but I'm going home, I'm wet. We've had a good session. Uh, lots of species today, getting shown, isn't there? Yes, it's been a good night, mate. Yeah, I've had a cut the place, loads of doggies, out. I've had a PB red mullet. Uh, Marcus has had a starry place. Yes. Bass, yeah. yeah. Had a turbo, small eyed ray place. Hey, what, some fish between us, isn't there? Yeah, two PBs tonight. But yeah, so we didn't really want a repeater last week, but the weather today, the beach was just unfishable. So, but we've had a cracking night, so it's worth persevering, worth sticking it out. We got here first and left here last, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what it's about, guys. If you want to catch your fish, you've got to go and put the hours in and put the effort in. Get but, um, wet. Get wet, yeah. I'm dreading tidying all this up tomorrow, cleaning it all. But anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this session. I um, probably won't be back here for a little while now, but um, it's been a great night. So please remember to like and subscribe. Um, catch you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah. Right, guys, don't forget, like and subscribe to Fish and Dorset Live. <laughs> See you on the next one, guys. Boom shakalaka.